Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. Today, we need to get some bales because our cattle are ballin'. So, we need to start our hired hand in the swather we have down there. We brought down there last night. So we'll go down to our grass field really quick here. Hopefully you're all doing good today in God's country here in Autumn Oaks. So we got a few head of cattle we need to fatten up. The only issue is we don't have no feed for these cattle. So we need to get our grass field swathed, raked, and baled today. So we'll head down here quickly our grass field get our swather running then we'll probably run back to our feedlot quick feed our cattle some purchased TMR we have for them and get to baling after that make sure we stop go. We'll park this over here on the side. Get this swather warmed up. So I'm going to create an outside course for this. grass field we have here. This is a good looking swather. It's definitely not American. If you guys know of a good old iron swather out there that sickle wheel old iron swather. I prefer a self-propelled swather. Don't really like the pole types. Have uh, bad memories of having to uh, run them on the farm. I want to talk about some neck pains after running a pole type all day. This looks like we're making fairly good amount grass here. So this is a pretty big field so we will definitely, we might even be able to sell some of our bales. So the plan is to get quite a few little squares made and probably I won't little square the whole field. I'll probably bring the round baler over and finish the field off because no one wants to lift that many little square bales, but this field is definitely deceptive because it doesn't appear to be this big until you're swathing around it. So it's going to take this hired hand quite a while to get this mowed down. Looks like we have a good cornfield over here to the side. So what we're doing now is setting an outside boundary for course play to read. Then we'll be able to set course play up with a course. It's just uh, course play has a hard time uh, breeding an outside boundary when it's grass. So doing this helps. Course play read it. We could probably just hire a hand, but then we wouldn't be able to set up uh, a pickup course right after it. It's like we got a 
muddy driveway over there to the side. Big old ruts in it. Maybe do a little end cab. It's a pretty small cab here. You definitely don't have room to stretch. But it definitely has enough room for everything it needs to be. It's definitely better than having to turn your neck all day long. So we already have our rake and our baler down there. So I read all the news on seasons. The new season's coming out in I think 24, 25 July and I am extremely excited because even how the each season's going to be different uh, even uh, they brought a lot of stuff into hay which you have to wait for the hay to actually dry so many cool uh, additional things that they put into seasons that we didn't get in the hired hand off and he is off so we'll jump out of him really quick so we have to do a few things we have to pick up another bail wagon so we'll run over to the shop quick pick up another bail wagon because we'll definitely have to be making trips back and forth to our farmyard store these bales. And we'll drop that bale wagon off, run back to the farm, do our cattle chores, and then uh, probably start raking. Beautiful flag here flying. This is where the livestock auction is right there purchased a few head of cattle probably before we should have because we didn't have the food ready yet so we didn't catch the live stream we ended up fertilizing all of our uh, cash crops our soybeans and corn so that's done now we have to worry about our animals which is the most important thing a neighbor won't care too much we use their corner here and we'll stop and go back and do our chores quickly we'll pull off to the side this is our little pathway to the back of our farm leave this here for now Probably get into our 4020. Do a little, put a little overkill on our water trailer. But it's the closest tractor, so it's going to get used for that. Get these cattle some water. Also heard that Season's going to have a watering feature, which is awesome so to me that's more realistic than hauling water doing a very good job of backing this up so let's get this water over here not for sure how much water these cattle need Their water tank is over here to the side. Right here. They may take a few loads, get them topped off. Another good thing about seasons, they had this in 17, is you really have to be careful 
with your cattle and making sure that they are watered, taken care of. I saw that Seasons is also going to have where if you accidentally leave cattle on a trailer overnight, they'll di die off on you. Which, it's not something you want, that's for sure. I'm going to the wrong area here. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't need to go back there. Need to go over here to the... tank here. Well, that is filling up. We'll leave it idle. Be a little dual purpose and get into our feeder wagon. So, you might see something over there to the side. I don't know if you guys have noticed something. One of my viewers gave me let's just say my third favorite mod in 17. So first was probably Seasons and then Course Play and then the mod that I'm currently using. I'll let you see if you can see it or not. Okay. It's like we filled the cattle up for today. Leave this parked over here. Don't know if you guys have noticed it yet. I'll give you a little while before I tell you. You may have even noticed it when I was doing transporting the water. So, if you haven't already figured it out, it's the Unit Convert Mod. Yes, don't have to guess liters to gallons anymore. I know I have almost 2,000 gallons in this tank. Bushels. The feeder wagon shows tons. So, basically, it just Americanizes the measuring device that's in-game very very nice for us that are used to American uh, put it in my uh, posted link so in this video you should also see the fixed autumn oaks version of this map that makes it way less laggy yeah. But the only bad thing is the middle farmyard, I don't know what it exactly was, the central farmyard, the main farmyard basically is completely gone. So something in that farm or around that farm was creating uh, a serious lag to the point where this game was almost unplayable and crashed constantly so that was a really good designed and made farmyard it was unfortunate but at least now we can play the game we'll hook this up quickly get started raking start this guy here a little bit Might do the first pass around for them. So this rake will definitely catch up to that swather. It's making 14 mile an hour. Will outrun a sickle swather any day. Good little Americanized coon rake here. So I couldn't find a old iron rake. I was looking for an old iron V rake. So I'm not sure if there's one made out there. 
If any of you guys have one, I'd much appreciate it. Beautiful countryside over here. The wonderful autumn oats. Not for sure where autumn oaks is designed off of, which area of the U.S. There's that swather going around. So now is, will this W9 still pull? This baler. So let's see. Does this, oh, it's, I'm afraid, will it pull it? Oh yeah, it will. Don't know if I'm gonna it's gonna be very efficient. Just barely. It's really unfortunate. We're getting a total of uh one mile per hour. So don't think this will be very effective at all really. I was hoping to use this as a rake and the uh, 4020 as a baler, but unfortunately this will not hook up to the rake, this W9. Because these bales don't Bailers don't take a lot of uh, horsepower to run. Definitely know a lot about little square bailing. So I don't think that's supposed to do that. So we're bailing along here, the little squares. Man, is this cool. So. Me and a little square baler, I have a lot of time on a little square New Holland baler. There we go, got this wagon figured out. Took me a little bit. Get it adjusted. I am definitely going to like this little squares. I think that little bale furler is kind of cool. So I did not do little squares like this we had a we would put the bales down in the field and we had a New Holland stacker self barrel stacker that we would run and pick up the bales so always thought the bale throwers were kind of cool I did not want to be on the receiving end of that though 70 to 80 pound bale thrown at that speed would not be pretty. Love this old school feel of this baling rig here.
We need to get this 40-20 running again. Baylor's already caught up. Swather's quite a bit ahead of it. Man, and I really enjoying this old iron farmyard. Starting out old. So, definitely has a very unique feel to it. Wait for the baler to go here. It's like we can rake this up right here while we're at it. Go behind the baler here. I'm not for sure why I left some of this unraked. But. So. Course play usually does this when you start a field like this, so it will go all the way to the other end and then start its back and forth rows. Of course, this rake can go quite a bit faster than the baler. So, I think what we are going to do, we are just going to purchase enough wagons so we can keep all of our hay in the wagons. Uh, I think I might build a nice overhang on the far the farmyard sometime to store that hay. But for now, we'll just keep it all in the wagons. That baler is working really good. I'm really impressed with that. First time I use small squares. So it is unfortunate I couldn't get that W9 to pull that baler or this rake. I was really hoping to keep it really old school. But that Massey is definitely a good tractor. At least our, uh, we got a nice sunshade running this 4020. It's never a bad day when you get to run a 4020 in the hay field. Just seems like 4020s were built for that. In my opinion. Just seems like when you're in the hay field you have to have an open cab tractor. Get in the swather here while it's running. Baylor and the Rake are going good over there.
back in the rake here. Swather uh, got in front of us a little bit. This rake really catches up quick to that swathing. Sickle bar can't move as quick as a regular uh, disc bind swather. That's okay because it moves about the same speed as the baler. Running this rake here. Get a little in cab view of a rake. Really enjoy this vanilla rake they have here. The 19. Definitely a good American, one of the few American in game mods they gave us. Or equipment, I should say, not really a mod. Don't really like how course play turns here. Wish it would uh, turn correctly. I think it has to do something with that hitch down there. Do like how uh, the hydraulic hookups hook up to this old iron 4020. It's kind of nice. You don't see that on all the older tractors. There's the baler taking off there. You can watch it while we pass it in the rake. Definitely enjoying the little square baler. I think I may keep that throughout this whole series. Don't know if I'll upgrade that baler or not. Definitely Little Squares has that uh, old time feel to it. The little smoke stack while we go around here. Puffing it. Little rain guard there looks like the swather is on its last pass just has a little sliver left and that is it for it so I know I said this a few times it appears that this is finally the last uh, bale layer we have on this trailer. So only a few more bales. So this trailer is definitely holding a lot of hay. Two more bales. Man, this baler is really getting a little dirty. Definitely got the dust flying around it. So it is pretty dusty. Dry baling dry hay. So, definitely going to need a little wash as we get back to the farm. Looks like this will be the last bale. Should be coming up here soon. There it goes. Now we have to do a little swap. Go hook this boy up to there. Get this baler back to running. Man, do we have the black soot on this baler. Am 
I am not doing a very good job backing up this offset baler. There we go. Man, has that Baylor got the black soot on it. It definitely is dusty bailing, but I don't know if it's that dusty. We will let the hired hand finish up here, and we are going to take that load of bales back into our truck here. Take this load of bales back to the farm. Got 140 little square bales nicely packed in our bale wagon. A little bumpy down this packed road here. Our corn is growing pretty good there. Might have to still need one more stage of fertilize on it might have to either uh, have somebody with a high boy sprayer spray it for us or get a crop sprayer plain sprayer to spray that last load of fertilize without damaging the crop I think uh, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to store these bales, but for now we'll leave them over here. There we go. Really enjoyed making our hay today. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for watching. And I will see you later on Autumn Oaks.